But it is what you will, man. How you feel today? You got the brand open. How you feel? Uh, I feel blessed, man. Uh, just feel good to be here, be able to do things like this for the community, get back a little bit, and uh, just have all my people around me and uh, to just uh, rejoice in this moment. Who made you pick Greenmount for the you know, grand opening? Well, I was one of the places I lived when I was younger. I lived on uh, 36 in Greenmount, which is like up top a little bit. And, um, you know, I feel like this is great location. You know, a lot of people walk down here, shop, and just be hanging out with things of that nature. So I feel like it'd be good for business. So just talking about the Protect the Family brand, like where that whole concept came from and just what it's all about. Uh, it came about two summers ago. Started small. Um, me and my friends, we just came up with an idea that, you know, something positive we wanted to call ourselves and represent. And then, um, you know, the brand just kind of, you know, took a, took a meaning in the face of its own. And we kind of just, instead of pushing the brand, we let the brand push us. And um, it just stands for, you know, anybody out there in the world who, you know, is, is a, a leader in the family, trying to protect and trying to take care of their people, um, they can relate. So, you know, that's, that's where it came from. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. I like that. I like that. So, you know, you got the big contract this year. You feel any any pressure so far? I mean, you've been killing it so far. Like, have you felt any pressure yet? No, nah, I ain't no pressure. I'm from East Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. So, I mean, you you wanted the new ambassadors for Baltimore basketball. Just talk about that. And just how you want to present, you know, Baltimore basketball to the world. Um, just the way our city is. It's tough. Small. Uh, and it's a grind, so that's just how I want to be looked at. Um, I don't really care about a lot of awards and accolades. I'm just out here for respect. Respect is all it's about for you, huh? Yeah, that's all it's about. I definitely, definitely like that, definitely like that. So, the Nuggets, you know, they coming along, coming together. You feel like you probably going to be the, the main guy for the next few years for the franchise. Just Talk about what, what you expect from your squad and yourself in like the next two, three years. Um, we got a young and upcoming team. We got guys like Emmanuel Moody, who's 19, rookie. I think he's going to be special. Uh, we got Gary Harris, another young guy um, who's good. Um, Nikola Jokic, who's pretty good. Myself, Gallinari, uh, Wilson Chandler. I feel like we got a good group, and Coach Malone is a, is a real good coach. So um, if we stay at it, we keep working together, and um, just get more team bonding, more time together, then you know we can be a team to reckon with. So some people say like this year your breakout year, but that playoff series last year when you was with the, the Blazers, like talk about how gratifying that was for you to you know put on on the big stage. Um, that was big time because you know it doesn't get any bigger than the NBA playoffs, and for me to have success against the team that would you know win the championship for San Antonio Spurs and the team that's been dominant this whole decade. Um, really opened my eyes up and I think it opened up a lot of people's eyes around the league that showed that this kid can really play. So it was real big for me and um you know after that series, you know, I kinda, you know, took it and ran with it. I've always been a confident guy, but you know, to be able to do it against them on that stage it was like, you know, you are here now, so you just gotta keep working and, you know, nobody can stop you if you just keep your head right. Okay, so your game, I, I feel like it, it's evolved since you was at Lake. You know, at Lake you was do it all. When the Memphis came over slash, and now I feel like you're going back into that do it all role. Just how would you describe your game? Uh, I feel like you're right. You know, at Lake Coach Tree let me play, let me, you know, showcase my whole game. And then when you go to college, you know, you got to sacrifice some of your game because you know everyone was an aspiring pro, everyone was the man on the high school team. So you got to sacrifice a little bit of your game for the. Um, for the good of the team, and we won a lot of games, so I didn't have a problem with it. Um, and once I got to the pros, it was more like, you know, now you can be yourself again, show people you can, you know, dribble a little bit, make plays, things that, you know, I wasn't showing at Memphis. I think people at Memphis, like you said, just saw me slashing and just scoring, but now people see me handling the ball, kind of running like a point, point forward kind of position. And that's why I'm best at He's saying that bounce too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, just having the ball in my hands and, and making plays and real good out the bounce. So um, either get to the rim, make a play for myself, or making passes and get my teammates involved. And like you said, people are starting to see that I'm more athletic too. So it's like um, it's a win-win, and I'm glad that I'm having the opportunity to show everything I can do.
All right, man, just <coughs> ask, just tell people what they expect from Will Buck from here on out. Um, just a guy that's going to continue to work hard, keep trying to get better, stay humble and confident at the same time. And um, God willing, just just take it to the top. And hopefully I can, you know, reach all, the, all my dreams and become an all-star in the NBA and keep doing things for uh, Baltimore. All right, man, appreciate yeah, that. Appreciate it.